So you're looking to buy a new professional level buffet bass clarinet, but you're not sure whether to reach for the Tosca or the Prestige. Well, I'm here today to help you out with that decision. So before we get started today, if you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications every time we post a new video. Also, make sure to check out the Candid Clarinetist podcast, which you can find a link to in the description below. Now, this is not a sponsored video, but as a little bit of a disclaimer, I am a buffet performing artist, so take what I say with a little bit of a grain of salt. Buffet Crampon has been the leader in the clarinet industry for a long time. They're known for their ringing quality, beautiful craftsmanship, and overall high quality customer service. So in the late 90s and early 2000s, Buffet released the Prestige 1193 Low C bass clarinet. This instrument has become a standard for orchestral bass clarinetists around the world. In 2014, Buffet released the Tosca 1195 bass clarinet. This instrument had a number of improvements in terms of acoustic quality and intonation, and I'll get into a few of those details in a minute. The Tosca bass clarinet quickly caught on, and many orchestral players play it around the world. It's known for its evenness of intonation, singing sound, and overall ease of playing. Now, a few differences between the Prestige and the Tosca. The Tosca has a double B-flat octave mechanism, which allows the B-flat to be vented. And this helps intonation because it makes it so the air doesn't come out of the same octave hole for both the throat B-flat and the long B. This solved the long-standing issue that the Prestige have of having a really sharp, long B natural. And of course, the C was also a little bit sharp. The Tosca bass clarinet also has a completely different bore than the Prestige clarinet. It's a much thinner sort of German style bore. So you can even tell on the neck, the inside of the neck is a little narrower and this creates a more focused sound in the upper register. Another small difference between the Tosca and the Prestige is that the Tosca has a double low E flat mechanism. So the first thumb key on the right hand serves as an alternate E flat, whereas on the Prestige, you had three different options for D, and the Tosca sort of evens that out, so it makes some of the fingerings a little bit easier by having access to another alternate E flat. Now, sound-wise, these instruments are actually completely different, in my opinion, and you'll see that in a minute when I sort of demonstrate the two back to back. I find that the Prestige has a real ease of playing and center to the sound. I can really gravitate to the middle of the sound of the instrument, and I really, really love that about the Prestige. That's what's always drawn me to that instrument, and I really love playing on it. The Tosca, however, has a much more even sound, but in my opinion, it's kind of harder to get nastier on the instrument. It's harder to have access to more colors because it's so in line and in tune with what it's trying to do, which is be such a great orchestral instrument. It's meant to play well with others in terms of the sound and the intonation. So they're kind of different in that way. Let's do a quick comparison between the Tosca and the Prestige. Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna be keeping all the other variables the same. So I'm gonna be playing on my trusty B40 Van Doren mouthpiece with size three V12 reeds and a regular Bonad inverted ligature. Thank <laughs> you. 
So as you can see, there's quite a stark difference between the two instruments. And my advice to you if you're wanting to buy a new instrument is to try both, and not only try both, but try multiples of each. And to do this, my recommendation would be to go to a selection service. My favorite selection service in the country is Rodriguez Musical. They offer so many different options in terms of clarinets. They're incredibly easy to work with and just great people. So if you wanna check them out, check out a link in the description below. Head on over to them, tell them that I sent you there, and I'm sure they'd be happy to send you multiple bass clarinets to try. For me, I have to say, the Tosca clarinet did solve some of the long-standing issues with the bass clarinet. That being said, everything is always a compromise on any instrument, whether it's your B flat, your E flat, your A clarinet, or your bass clarinet. And so while the Tosca did solve some of the issues, I feel like acoustically it created some other issues that to me, you know, kind of way back and forth on whether I want to go that direction or not. I am lucky enough to own both instruments and I use both instruments for different purposes, but in terms of just the enjoyment of playing, I really, really love the Prestige clarinet. I've always felt really connected to my instrument and I feel like I can do things musically on it that the Tosca just simply doesn't allow me to do. Additionally, I wanted to mention that some of the intonation things that were solved on the Tosca actually created some other problems. And this was an issue with the regular Tosca line in general, is that the C to G 12th in the middle of the instrument is kind of off. The low C is really sharp and the upper G is kind of flat. And so there's really no way of fixing that, unfortunately. And so you just kind of have to try to compensate yourself. And this is a problem that I have on the bass clarinet, especially because a lot of things with the bass clarinet lie around that low C area and you don't want to be coming in sharp all the time. So just be really, really careful when you're testing out your instrument. Make sure you're playing through those 12s and trying to figure out sort of where the intonation issues are so that you know going into orchestra or when you're playing with other people what you need to compensate for. In terms of price, obviously the advantage goes to the Prestige. You know, it's a little bit cheaper and it's still such a phenomenal instrument. I mean, yes, there are issues with it, but there are issues with any clarinet. And my best advice is just practice on it, get familiar with it so that you know going in when you're playing with other people where the issues are. I think that both the Tosca and the Prestige are phenomenal instruments and anyone would do well to take either one of these if you're looking for a new professional level bass clarinet. I wanna know what you think. Do you prefer the Prestige or the Tosca bass clarinet? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and happy practicing.